looks pretty good. I don't know who that is. Oh, that looks really good. Very good. The ginger? Mm -hmm. Why you have it in here, babe? Not a. The wine is. Why you put mines in here? The wine is. Ew. This is a big bump right here. Oh, that one. That is a huge bump. Give me that cup, babe. Ew. Huh? Give me that cup, yeah. Why is this so strong, babe? Okay, see? Yeah, it's strong. I'm gonna put some more water in and put it in the microwave. Yeah, yeah, and take it out of this cup. Spike it a little bit. Put a little spike in it. <laughs> spike. <laughs> what do you mean? A little spike. I'm not understand. It's ginger, babe. You guys, the sound is working. I've just muted it. So give me just a second. I'm having a... Give me... Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I know it's muted. It's just muted. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Christina, Tashana, what's up? You got you guys, I'm going to be real with you. Babe, you got to turn it. You're going to have to put that on your on your phone, on your thing, my jiggers. I shouldn't even care, huh? Go ahead, baby, play your music. We could, we could delete it. We could delete this live. I'm just saying we could delete it after it's, after we post it. We could delete this. You sure? You can play it. You want to play it? Go ahead. Because it'll be copyright. You can do it, baby. We is. I mean, we having a good time. It's fine. 
We can delete it. You guys. Okay, like I was getting ready to say, I'm going to be real with y'all. Semi-real, not all the way. I need some time. Okay? You guys know that I haven't done my makeup, my hair, nothing. Like, I just ain't really been there to care about it. And lately, I have, you know. And so, I was telling my husband that I went, and he's sitting over here, by the way. The kids are in the bed. But I was telling my husband that I wanted to go somewhere. And all of a sudden, like, I was putting my makeup on and stuff, and I got the urge to leave. And I'm like, babe, I want to go somewhere. Like, I want to go out. And I know it's Sunday, you know, and the kids got school tomorrow and everything. I understand. I fully understand. But being a home mother, you know, everything I do is from home. Like, I don't really go anywhere, you know, during the week. My husband, you know, he don't go nowhere either. He goes to work, and then he comes home. But I'm like housebound. And most of the time I go run a couple of errands and I come back to the house. So I just been wanting to go somewhere, you know, um, on a date or somewhere like that. And so right before the camera come on, I was just like, just telling my husband that I was like, I, I want to go somewhere. Like I'm tired of being in the house and like, you know, he laying down, he ready to go to sleep and everything like that. He just sleepy. He tired and he's supposed to be tired. Cause he worked, you know, all week. He's supposed to be tired, but I'm not, I'm not tired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I should be tired. You know, it's, it's bedtime, 947 out here in Washington, but I'm not tired. I want to go somewhere. Like I want to go. So, so, like, I don't want to be in the house right now. I want to be outside. I want to go somewhere. So, but I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to go at all. You know what I'm saying? And if it was, if I was going to go somewhere, I want to go with my husband. Thank you, guys. Huh? You know what? I think that we say that over here is boring because we don't know nobody and we don't go nowhere. But I'm pretty sure there are people who live in this state, Washington State, that think it's very fun because they actually have friends and they actually go places. So I'm, I don't want to sit up here and say it's boring here. I always used to say that. I always still say that. But I don't think that's the case. I think we just don't know nobody. So we think it's boring. Because we don't know nobody. We don't go nowhere. So. Exactly. It's the new color. I love the color of my hair. I do want it brighter. I do want it brighter. So in a few weeks, I'm going to dye it again. Because I want it brighter. I don't want it this dark. I want it a little brighter. Not like red red you know what i'm saying like traffic red like but i do want it brighter than this so because to me it's not bright enough but on the side of that it's just like yeah the hair you know i actually got up and did my makeup today i told myself i'm gonna start doing my makeup more often again now that i feel like my face has healed to a level i like Thank y'all so much. So, but irregardless of that, I just want to go. Somebody told me that irregardless was not an actual word. And every time I say irregardless now, I be thinking to myself, don't say it's not a word. But y'all tell me in the comment section, is irregardless a word or not? Because I really haven't even looked it up. Well, people use it. Huh? A lot of people use it. People been using it since the beginning. Oh, somebody said it's just regardless. Christina said it's just regardless. No, it wasn't the color. It wasn't the color. It was the, the developer that I used. I used a 20 volume developer. And I can't even believe I'm saying that because I did not know how to dye my hair at all before I dyed it. But now I think I got a little knowledge. Well, I don't think I do got a little knowledge, but still it sounds funny with me saying it because before I was scared, like, I don't know what I'm doing. But... It's the 20 uh, volume developer that I used. It was not strong enough. So now I know with my hair, I need probably a 30. I got a 40 originally, but the people at the store was like, don't get a 40 because a 40 is too strong. That's for professional um, 
so uh, people who do hair that's for professional people you don't want to get no 40 so i said okay cool so i got a 20 to, to be on the safe side and i'm happy i got a 20 because i really didn't know what i was doing but i think now i need a 30 so i'm gonna get a 30 in a couple weeks from now and um not leave it on as long last time i this time i left it on 30 minutes i'm gonna probably leave it on they told me leave it on for 25 minutes but it'd probably be less than that because they said a 30 is stronger. So I'll do a 30 next time. And if that don't do it, then I bump it up to a 40. But anyway, I feel like I'm talking a lot. Don't really want to be talking much. Kind of just want to be somewhere enjoying the vibe. But I did miss you guys because I haven't seen you guys in a few. So I hope y'all doing well. What's going on? Ain't no comments coming on my phone at all. Only on the TV. What's the situation though? None. Like literally no comments. Why is it doing that? Oh, my gosh. Baby, can I see your phone? Can you turn your phone on? There's literally no comments going across my phone my phone at all, you guys. So, y'all comments I ain't even seeing. I see it on the TV, but they're going by so fast. Well, I won't, I won't say super fast, but... Oh, my gosh. Can I just stop being so, so dramatic? Once in my life. Uh -oh. <laughs> anyway y'all what is y'all doing because hopefully y'all lives is more interesting right now than mine's because mine's is just i won't say boring but i would say a little dry just a little dry that's all I want to do my hair that color, but I might just get a wig. A wig? A wig for what? You don't need no wig, girl. Christina, if I knew you was up, I would have called you. Like, I'm looking for people in my phone to call. Like, should I go live or should I call? Should I go live or should I call? Like, I could have just called you. If I knew you was up. Dang. Oh, she said she's going to bed. All right, well, go to bed then. Shoot. So we would have been on the phone for five minutes. <laughs> Then you be like, girl, I got to go to work tomorrow. I'll see you later. Everybody got to work tomorrow. I mean, that's a normal thing, right? And I do too, but it's just not in a physical building. It's in the house. It's a difference. Not saying that I want to be like locked down at a desk, because I definitely don't. But um, I don't know. I have no idea. Thank you, guys. 40 will be fine if you want brighter, just not recommended not to be left on the scalp for too long. I'll, it'll dry your scalp. Okay, yeah, that's what I heard, CC. Um, they were saying that it was um, professionally only. Professionals only should use 40 develop 40 volume developer, not somebody that don't know what they're doing. So I'm going to get 30 next time. But like I said, I'm going to leave it on less. But um, I'm going to definitely get 30 because I want it brighter than what it is. But not like extremely bright. I just want a little brighter. Just a little brighter to where it looks, you know, to me it's just, it's like a, in the house. It looks like a little bright. It looks kind of brown. Yeah, I just, yeah, a little, a little standout. Not a lot, just a little bit. Oh, oh okay. Cece said that uh, hair color made your skin. It made it pop. It might be this makeup, baby. But um, thank you. I, yeah, I could definitely take myself on a date, but I, I just don't know where to go. That's the only thing. Like, if I'm being honest, me going on a date is to a restaurant. Like, I'm going out to eat. And um, I don't think anything is wrong with that, but I just don't want to do anything that necessarily the main focus is food. I want to do something that, you know, the main focus is just physical activity, having fun. Stuff like that. And I feel like I can't do that by myself. Um, and I'm not talking about, like, um, exercise-wise. I'm talking about just having fun, you know, maybe dancing or um, just going somewhere to see something, sightseeing. I don't know, y'all. I really don't know. I don't go anywhere. But the, it needs to change. The fact that I don't go anywhere, that needs to change. It needs to change for real. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to go anywhere by myself to get something to eat because I just don't feel like that's that's not a date that I want. You know, I want to do something fun that doesn't involve food. 
Thank you, Sapphire. Do y'all have any karaoke bars or jazz clubs? We do. I just don't go to them. But yeah, we do have karaoke bars. I don't really know where. Um, I knew of one a long time ago, but I really don't know where anymore. Um, jazz clubs. I really don't know. I just don't know, y'all. I don't... I tell them, when I tell you I don't go nowhere, I don't go nowhere. I don't know. Like, I don't know of anything. I don't go nowhere. I don't talk to people. I don't hang out with people. Um, that's just that. If I go somewhere, it's up the street to, um people that I used to know long, 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 long time ago that I basically consider family and they ain't doing nothing but standing outside. So I don't really go anywhere, like actually go out somewhere to do, I, we don't, I don't do that stuff unless it was my husband and that's every blue moon. Since I started my weight loss journey, we haven't gone nowhere in almost three months and I need, and I keep telling him I need to leave and he knows that, he knows that I need to leave. I need to get out the house because I'm bored and I'm starting to feel um, closed in and I don't like that feeling when you start feeling closed in because you bound to do you bound to just <laughs> you bound to have reflexes when you feel closed in like this you bound to have a reflex or two <laughs> um I waited about two months Melissa two months to change my nose ring thank you Gidget Thank you so much. For real, Cece, I'm literally like, they said, it, uh, if you don't take me out somewhere, oh, no, baby. Because you got, baby, you got to do something. Like, y'all, he over here asleep. <laughs> I had made a joke earlier. I was like, man. I had made a joke early. I was like, this is what happens when you get with old people. I said that earlier. I said, this is what happens when you get with old folks. When you marry old people. They don't want to go nowhere. But it's the, is that, to me, that's the truth. I ain't lying. Now, I'm not saying my husband is old. But he's older than me. And he don't ever want to... I'm not going to say he don't want to go nowhere. Babe, why don't we go nowhere? Why don't you ever, like, initiate a date night? I'm asking because I really don't know. And I hope this is not embarrassing. Is this embarrassing? I should ask this question off camera. Huh? Should I ask this question off camera? Hmm? All right. Change the subject, y'all. I don't want to make him feel uncomfortable. I just, I just... That's all right. Don't answer, baby. It's all right. Your alarm popped up right now. Said uh, it's bedtime. Amen. He said amen. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Um, resting waterfront in Tacoma area, walking around there to, I mean, even that would be nice tonight. <laughs> resting way waterfront sounds amazing. It really does. But just me and my husband, I don't want to take the kids like, yeah, on a date night. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Even resting way. And the sad part is we live very close to resting way. We don't go there, though. Denise said, book a hotel and go out of town with your man. Definitely want to. Definitely want to. Yes, Clifton does. No, uh-uh. Clifton doesn't work tomorrow. He's off tomorrow. If he worked, he wouldn't be in the living room. He'd be in the bed. We wouldn't be having this conversation. No. Well, he's really not talking to me. I'm talking to y'all. He's just semi-listening and semi-sleeping. But, um, no, he doesn't work tomorrow. He's off on Mondays. I would love to go to a skating rink. Now, in the past, I wouldn't have because I had my knee surgery. But my knee is fine now. I could actually wear heels now. And I actually bought a couple pairs of heels. So I would definitely love to go to a skating rink. That sounds like a lot of fun. 
I think these men just get too comfortable and forget us. Their wives need some excitement to keep the relationship fresh, to keep the relationship fresh. I find myself hanging out with my friends. Girl, I'm like, I'll see you later, sir. And that's the thing, CC. you have friends. I don't. <laughs> If I have friends, I'd be gone. But then again, I wouldn't want to have friends, single friends. If I had friends, I would want them to be married like me. Because I feel like single. if I'm hanging out with single friends, there'll be guys walking past that might be trying to holler at them. Well, guys going to holler anyway. But they might be trying to holler at them and this and that and the third. And I'm not single. So I feel like if I did have friends that they would have to be married friends. But um yeah, that would be great. If I had friends, but I do not have friends. Hey Gloria. Thank you, Jigga. What's up, Big Quentin? Hey Yanni. I'm definitely want to come to Dallas. For real. Like, I, I told my husband after 2022, when 2023 comes, we're definitely going to be traveling more to the year 2023 by the grace of God. Because I I do not want to do, I cannot and will not do this the whole 2023. Like, the whole just in the house thing, it has to go. Like, I love it because it's helped grow my channel. You know, I've been very good with social media, but I could do the same thing I'm doing now out of state. I don't have to be here to do this. I know how to do a video. I know how to do a thumbnail. I know how to do all of that. I don't got to be in the house to do this. I could work for, out of state somewhere else. I ain't got to be here to do this. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. That sounds like exercise to me. Somebody said going to the mountains for a walk no i'm cool with that that sound like exercise and i mean on an exercise workout day yes most definitely let's go to the mountains but if it's not an exercise day no take me somewhere where i can have fun yeah i've been praying and asking god to send me and my husband some friends i have <laughs> I have, and I'm laughing because I know myself, but I have a hard time um, trusting people. I don't really trust people that well, and so um, I'm kind of particular of people, but um, at the end of the day, I have been asking God for a very long time to send, especially send my husband's friend, because he don't have no friends either, y'all. Like, we're the same. We don't have friends. Um but it's because we don't trust people. We'll meet somebody and we'll be like, um, yeah, that's the person you just say hi and bye to. <laughs> I feel like if we live, if we weren't, what do you think, babe, about that? Why we don't have friends? Right, because we don't trust people. They change quickly. Did y'all hear him? Easy to change. He said, "People change quickly. They're easy to change." Yeah. That part. Yeah, I can't trust them. And he said, "You can't trust them." That's true. So, but they don't stick to what you know. He said, "So you better to just stick to what you know." Yeah. But I don't want to live like that my whole life. I don't want to live like that my whole life. I don't. I don't, but nobody can say, nobody can mix, mix it up in nothing else. I think or we just don't get along with people. People can't mix it up or blame you or press finger on I just don't want to think like that, though, in my whole life. I don't want to think that everybody's evil and people, ch everybody change. Like, you don't think there's people in the earth that God created to be friends with us that will not change up and that are good people to us? You don't think so? I do. I know what we... If I'm going to meet a friend, I have to be out of my comfort zone. Everybody has to be out of their comfort zone to meet somebody, baby. Like, like, oh, like, 
Okay, so you like Florida. You probably met somebody there. That's cool. Yes, Melanie, definitely. Yes, Melissa, I would love to go to the beach. Thank you, Wendy. Love to go to the beach. Hey, Christina. Y'all, that's that's one of our supporters that we met in a grocery store about a year ago. How are you doing? She's actually in Washington. You ain't got to work tomorrow, girl. It's peaceful just walking around and thanking God for the air and everything God has created. It's peaceful. Most definitely. I, I totally agree with that. Totally agree with that statement. But with me right now, I just feel like I need physical. I need physical connections from people. I'm tired of just having um, um, social media connections. I need physical um, connections. And so um, that's going to be my prayer, you know, until it comes. But I'm not desperate. Don't get it tw twisted because... I'm I'm very particular. Me and my husband, I'm we are very particular people about who we uh, allow ourselves to just associate with. Unless you've been in our lives previously, years ago before we met each other. Other than that, when if I already knew you and you already knew me, then that's different. But if I don't know you and and everything like that, I'm very particular. Period. You are right about the single friends. I have been married for over 30 years and it's hard to trust people at times. Most definitely. Thank you, Lotus. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, guys. For sure, Jigga. For sure. Thank you, uh, Jihad. I'm doing okay. I am going to go blind, Christina, but I'm not going to go like blind. I'm going to go like a few shades. I'm going to try anyway or attempt uh -huh, to go a few shaders, a few shaders, a few shades and lighter than my actual um, skin complexion. So I'm going to try to do a few shades lighter than that. I don't want to go too bright. Um, I want something that, you know, blends nicely with my complexion. I don't want nothing that's like, oh, like, wait a minute, like night. I don't want night and day. <laughs> I don't want night and day, you know, so yeah, I'm gonna figure out some. Hey, Mike, how are you tonight? See, I got a friend right there. I know for sure if I came to Florida, me and Mike would be hanging out a lot. Me, Mike and Clifton and the kids and any kids you have. The whole family, I already know it. There's a few people in Florida um, that are supporters of this channel that I know if we move to Florida, we would definitely be hanging out with y'all. And that's for real. That's for real. Eh. Have we thought about doing YouTube collaborations with couples? We, we relate, we don't really relate to anyone. I'm going to be 100% not even trying to be salty. But I have not seen one YouTube couple that we actually like relate to. None. None. I really haven't. I really haven't. Love them all, but I don't feel like we relate. I don't feel like we like, oh, yeah, yeah, we got this in common. Like, yeah, yeah, our personalities will go great. Yeah. No, I don't feel like that. I ain't never felt like that. When I tell you guys, like. My husband is one way on camera. I'm one way on camera. But in person, it's like we have personalities that it just doesn't it doesn't mesh well with a lot of people. It doesn't We're You know, we just different. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Just keep cooking that good food always. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. Oh, yes. Fall. I didn't think about that. Fall vibes. That's right. It is giving fall vibes. Y'all, Clifton sleep. He over here sleep. But he's supposed to be sleep, y'all. It's his day off. That's what you're supposed to do on your day off. I'm just a little jealous, I guess. Thank you, Lady Nat. 
Yeah, people are very different. Aw, Cece, thanks for watching me. Um, Well, she doesn't really post videos anymore. She posts a lot of short videos because she gets, um, you know, what the income she, you know, used to get from YouTube, which she still does get income from YouTube, um, uh, probably a great amount of it. She gets more from Facebook. And so you got to kind of weigh your odds. Would I rather do, you know, po you know, be more social on YouTube? Um I mean, Facebook and um, I'm getting paid more and they actually are a little bit more friendlier over there or post more, you know, personal videos on YouTube and I get paid less and people aren't as friendly. So she's just kind of juggling her odds and um, I'm not mad at her for doing that, you know, but thank you so much. Yes, Jigga, we're going to continue to pray because it definitely does. And I don't think that I would be feeling this way if God didn't have anything in store for us. I, I don't believe that I would be feeling this way at all. Like having the um the desire, you know, to do more and see more people. And all. I don't think I would have this desire if it wasn't God that was um initiating that desire in me. I don't. So I definitely believe that prayer is going to play a huge part in the next level that God is taking us to. Right. I mean, you got the nerves and everything, Mike. You know, people are going to have nerves and be nervous, you know, meeting people. But I'm talking about just like meshing where, you know, you just you just get along with one another and you're not judgmental of the other person. But you just literally, you know, because for me and my husband, you know, we just feel like, you know, we would want to hang with people that are just not judgmental, you know, or, you know, everybody has their, you know, their, their um, judgments up front, you know, but ultimately your, the, your long-term goal is not to hurt, you know what I'm saying, us, but to actually, you know, add to our lives, like we add to one another and care for one another. That is the relationships that we want. And um, those are rare and difficult to find because for a lot of people, there's always an agenda why they want to be um, connected to you. There's just always an agenda. And I'm not saying that boastfully. I'm just literally saying, irregardless if we were on YouTube or not, there's always an agenda. Before I was on YouTube, we've been this way, you know, very like um, careful about who we, you know, call friends at the end of the day. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. I found some summer sausage at the Dollar General my, by Bridgeford. It's pretty good. Not too salty. Oh, summer sausage. Okay. Yes, Melanie. I look exactly like my daughter. Really? Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you, Dana. Of course. My, my my husband, I don't like the word partner. I don't know why, y'all. <laughs> I remember when I was in uh when I was in college, people would like like, you know, when you first meet meet um in the uh college like uh group, like in the classroom group when we were online back when COVID had first started, people would be introducing themselves and they would be like, Yeah, I got you know, it's me and I, I got my partner and I do not know why. But when they were saying partner, I automatically thought that they were talking about somebody that they're in relationship with. That's the same sex as them. I'm not used to people saying partner like and they're married and it's the opposite sex. I'm not used to that. And I don't know if I sound ignorant right now or what, but I'm just not used to that. So when people say my partner, I'd be literally thinking that they're talking about they're in a the same-sex marriage. And I'm being 
because I do not use the word partner. I don't know why I don't. I just never use the word partner. Like me and my partner, I don't know, y'all. Y'all might think I'm weird. I, I don't know, but I'm just being real with you. I ain't even lying. 100%. I don't know if God's in everyone, but we definitely. But if you if we seek Him, He definitely will reveal Himself to us. Thank you, Mika. I think so too. Them grazing went, honey. So let's see how long they stay away. Well, I'm gonna get it died again in two weeks, and so. Yeah. Thank you, Black Hippie. Some people just want to best want best for others as they want for themselves but most just want to op op oppress others so that they can be happy ele elevated i despise that kind of fam yes exactly period period god bless you too irma and thank you so much for your support we really appreciate you thank you so much mm -hmm. i don't know i'm trying to tell you I didn't know what they was talking about. When people said probably my partner, and I I, I, I had to be quiet because I'm like, I felt I felt kind of stupid when people was like, when people would introduce be like, yeah, I got my partner and my kid. I don't know what y'all talking about. Thank you, Lisa. That's what I'm saying, Tammy. I'm just being real. I'm, I mean, I'm just telling the truth. I always thought that too. No, I know you didn't mean it like that, Big Quentin. But I just never used that word. Like, I never, I've never used that word to describe my husband. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with using that word or that people shouldn't use that word. I just never have. The only time I've used partner is in a game. Like, is it? I just only use it in the game. My husband made me some ginger tea, y'all. That's what I'm drinking. <sighs> but yeah, y'all. I don't want to bore y'all with my presence. Definitely feel like I'm boring right now. Don't want to be boring, but... So I'm probably going to let y'all go. I just popped on to say hey. Thank you. And y'all better get used to it. I'm, gonna, I'm finna start wearing my makeup again, y'all. I was tired and lazy. But I just feel like wearing it again. I mean, not that it looks complete. I think I, I don't think I... Some people say I look completely different with it on. I think I look definitely look different. More sharp. Um, not as tired. And a little bit more put together with it on a little bit more vibrant and up but um i definitely just feel like i want to start wearing makeup again and um not just like bland like this i'm i really want to start putting more makeup on my eyes i used to wear like a lot of different colors on my eyes um and i think i'm ready for that again i think i'm ready to start wearing my bright oranges and browns and purples and greens um pinks and stuff like that reds i have a lot of makeup a lot of different color palettes and i don't wear them anymore golds and silvers i think i'm ready again to start putting different colors on my eyes and spending two to three hours doing my makeup again just because it's it's therapy to me i love to sit down in front of my mirror turn some music on um have a, a cute little drink sit next to me and do my makeup and sit there for hours and just do my makeup and have fun um, read comments from you guys and stuff like that. And so I'm not saying I'm going to be doing that every day, three or four hours, but, um, a good hour a day, if I'm on camera or whatever, I think I'm ready. Not even on camera. I just think I'm ready to start wearing makeup again. I gave it a rest for a long time, but I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to start wearing it again. Hmm. Mika, don't don't say that. 
Thank you, Push Through. <laughs> Thank you so much, India. Thank you, Black Hippie. You can still tell it's me. Great. <laughs> oh, you at work till 7 a.m.? Wow. Oh, Lord. God bless you. Are you in the healthcare field or something? Nope. I didn't use no medication from uh, the detox from alcohol. The only medication I pretty much had was God. He the only one helped me get through it. I that was it. But I was I I think that sometimes when I describe being me drinking like being an alcoholic, I think I describe it wrong. Because I was what you would call a functional alcoholic. And so it wasn't like I was drinking heavy every day. It was like binge drinking. So it would be like heavy for three days. And then I wouldn't drink at all for the next three to four days. Um, it wasn't every day. So when I did go on like a complete like dry fast from drinking it wasn't as difficult for me and I never had withdrawals because I never ever would drink every single day for an entire month. Like a uh, alcoholic, a normal one, you know, they drink every single day. I never drank every single day because I had to work. I had to go to school. I had kids. I had everything. I had my husband. So I wasn't just out here just drinking every single day. I was like a binge drinker. So it would be Friday, Saturday, maybe Monday or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, stuff like that. Yeah. So I never had to, I, I never had withdrawal symptoms because I wasn't drinking every day. Oh, thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Tracy. Yes, Tashana. God is always good, Jigga. I don't know about the drag queens, honey. Thank you so much, Brother Mike. I really appreciate you. Anything. Anything anything i i would say beer i would say beer the most time most mo, for the most part it was beer yeah for the most part it was beer yeah i hated wine <laughs> i hated wine hated it um because it always gave me a headache so yeah it was beer it was beer Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Most definitely. Thank you, Emily. Wow, 12 hours. Lord. Jesus. Well, I started off drinking like old, like old school beer. My first beer I ever had was like 211. Ha! <laughs> That was the first kind of beer I ever drank. And um, I didn't feel good the next day. So then I went from that to drinking Old English. And that got old real quick too. And then I went from that to drinking, I think Milwaukee. Milwaukee's best. <laughs> I drunk trash beers, you guys. Trash. Milwaukee's best. Um... A couple other hard liquors, hard, hard beers. I, I Like on a good day, I would get out of school. This is back when I was getting my bachelor's. I get out of school. I have three, three tall cans of uh, Milwaukee's Best like every day um, for like three or four days. And then I wouldn't drink anything. And I was functional. So I would get up in the morning, um, put my food or dinner in the crock pot, leave the crock pot on low. Me and my son. It was just back when it was just me and my son. 
take my son to school, drop him off at school, and then I would go to the gym or I would drop him off at daycare, go to the gym, work out. When I would get done working out, drink my smoothie, eat my breakfast, and then go straight to class, go to school. As soon as I would get out of school at um, like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, I knew I had about a good two to three hours before I had to get my son. So then I would head out to my mom's house and I would drink like two or three Milwaukee's best. <laughs> eat a little bit and then I will sew her up and go pick up my son and then go home, check on the dinner, prepare the food, clean up the house if I needed to. So I was a functional, like I was functional and I did that all the time. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I did. Thank you. My big family of eight. Well, Milwaukee's best was my favorite. I loved Milwaukee's best to this day. I can't ever drink that again, though, because now me being older, that will literally make me throw up. Ugh. But this was like, I say about four years ago, four or five years ago when I used to drink Milwaukee's best. I switched from Milwaukee's best to Corona's. Um, and even now, I love a good Corona. So, yeah, I used to I, I used to do Milwaukee's best when I was a baby in the gang. But I graduated to Coronas. <laughs> 211, that was like a one night hit or quitter. It was over. Couldn't do 211. Old English was also a hit or <laughs> a couple nights hit or quitter. Done. Can't have it. It's nasty. <laughs> yeah. Still reserved. <laughs> yeah, it was cheap beer. I was broke. I ain't had no money. I was on DHSF, DSHS, getting food stamps, getting uh, TANF, you know, um, I was on Section 8, everything. So I had no money and I was a full-time student, get my bachelor's degree and I didn't have no money. So yes, I was drinking Milwaukee's Best because it, it did it. It got, I had a, a cute little buzz, you know, and that was it. Yes. Oh, yes, for sure, Mary. Listen, ain't nobody perfect. I'm not, I ain't finna sit up here and um, act like my life is all put together. No, honey, we still got things we working on over here. I ain't got a front for nothing, you know. You know, everybody got struggles they still working on and working through. That's just life. Thank you, Jazzy. Yeah, I ain't got no reason to lie. I'm telling the truth. Um, honey, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, did you ever get kid get? Did you ever get kidney, liver, or bladder checked? Yeah, I did. I did, and I still do often. But I never had no issue with that by the grace of God, by the grace of God. I never had no issues with my kidneys, never had no issues with my liver, um, never had no issues with my bladder. And I've got always consistently every year got my stuff, got my stuff checked. I always did my I've been getting pap smears since I was 18 years old. I've always got my pap smears. I've always got my blood work, blood work and everything. I've always got my. Uh, blood test, um, sexually transmitted disease tests, all of that. I've always done that. If there's one thing about me, even though I was fr I'm from the hood and grew up ghetto and everything like that, I've always been very good about getting my checkups. I've never missed one. Um, I've always been that way. Always been that way. And so, yeah, no, I've never had any of those issues. I have had irregular pap smears in the past. Not anymore. But, um, yeah, I never had no issues with my bladder, kidneys, or anything. And I think it's because even though I was drinking, I was still eating healthy. Most of the time, I was still eating healthy, and I was still drinking a lot of water. Like, with even though I was drinking, I wasn't drinking and just going to bed dry. Like, I had cases of water in my room, and I would literally wake up out of my sleep and just down water. 
down water, 12 o'clock in the morning, one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, I wake up, I'm thirsty, downing the water, okay, using the bathroom. Matter of fact, during this time, I used to carry around gallon of gallons of water. Like I would just take a gallon of water to school with me every day in a regular like gallon of water jug, like a milk jug. I would take that with water and just take it to school with me. And I would drink half while I'm at school and at the gym. When I get out of school, I would go drink. And then once I came home, I would finish the rest. So I've always had drank a lot of water. I've always, and even back then I was eating healthy, working out. I was doing all of that. Yeah. Taking my vitamins, everything. I wasn't just out here just, just drinking liquor and not like, you know, put my water in my vitamin. I was still doing everything like a normal person would. That's why, I, that's why I say I was a functional drinker. I was functional because I was still doing everything a normal person would do to take care of themselves. I was just drinking too. You know? A lot. A whole lot. Oh, thank you, truck driver. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that is funny. I don't know why that's funny. but <laughs> Sorry. That's funny to me, the way you said it. Donisha, I've been bullied for being overweight and I've been trying to not let that get to me. How old are you, Emily? Thank you, Black Hippie. I'm much healthier than what I used to be. The only thing that, I, to be completely honest, the only thing that I feel like I'm working more on nowadays is my mental health um, and my spiritual health. Like that is more important to me than anything because um, without that, you know, everything that you, everything that you're trying to do in life, it has to come from within. And so I feel like my mental health, my spiritual health, what's going on on the inside of me has to be right. You know, and that's why I went on this health journey to try to get, not to try, but to actually do get myself healthier. Not to say I'm perfect. I don't make mistakes. I don't eat things I'm not supposed to eat every now and again. I don't drink things I'm not supposed to drink every now and again. I'm not saying any of that. But I'm just saying I went on this journey because I knew that I needed to get myself healthier mentally. I need to get myself healthier spiritually. I want the health to stem from the inside out. And so that's what I've been working on um, consistently. <laughs> Fantasia twin. <laughs> I'm not Fantasia's sister, but thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. I love y'all. I love every single one of y'all and all the love y'all giving tonight. Every day, Jigga. There ain't one day. That's why I don't judge people. Somebody come to me, they need prayer. They messed up. They going through this and that. I just receive them openly because, honey, I got my own issues, my own things I'm working through. I don't never look down on nobody. I don't never judge nobody. You know, I just keep working on me and keeping my nose out of other people's business. And helping people whenever they request it. No, you're right, Mary. I definitely am too hard on myself. And even God has told me that. Even God has told me that. Like, you're way too hard on yourself. Yeah, you sinned. Yeah, you, yeah, you did, you know, you grieved the Holy Spirit. But I don't want you to hold that grudge against your against yourself that sin against yourself because my mercy is renewed every single day and if i allowed you to wake up and still be here that is another fighting chance that you have i want you to work on you see god sees our ending he we see what we're going through now we see our current situation but god sees who we're gonna be god sees who he predestined us to be god sees who he placed us here to be and so he doesn't like when we're hard on ourselves the way that we are and i completely admit that i'm definitely my worst enemy me my worst critic i'm very hard on myself more than anybody you know what i'm saying very hard on myself and i completely agree with that and i need to change i need to change that about myself that i'm very hard on myself i critique myself a lot and um you know what i'm saying um sometimes i don't even forgive myself for things that i've done and i need to do that more often you know it's not, not just when god says that you know um if you don't forgive others, I will not forgive you. It's me not forgiving myself too. You know, he doesn't like, that's a sin. Just being hard on yourself, not forgiving yourself. 
not loving yourself, not giving yourself grace like God gives you. Because when we don't give ourselves grace, when we don't forgive ourselves, it locks us into a box. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't allow us to flourish in life and be who God created us to be. We lock ourselves down. We stop our petition, potential. We, hump, we um, um, how do you say, we um, stifle our growth. Um, we stunt our growth. Yeah, that's what my mama used to say. If you smoke or drink alcohol too. No, smoke or drink um, coffee too young. You stunt your growth. You know, and I believe when we ha harbor unforgiveness in our hearts towards ourselves, it definitely stunts our growth because it doesn't allow us to evolve into who God created us to be. So I definitely 100% wholeheartedly agree with that statement that I am too hard on myself. I completely agree with that. And it wasn't until recently that I realized that I was. It wasn't until recently like very recently. And that's probably why I'm spending so much time talking about it since you brought that up. Because it wasn't until recently that I realized that like, Donisha, you are way too hard on yourself. Way too hard on yourself. You don't even see yourself. You don't even realize what you're being through. You don't even realize how far you've come. Everybody else is congratulating you. They saying, great, you know, wow, I'm so proud of you. You've done this, you've done that. You don't even see none of that. You don't see any of it. You just see like, What's next? What can you accomplish next? What can you do next? You know, you're not giving yourself no grace. And I, I completely agree with that statement. And that's what that's 100 <laughs> percent. 100. Thank you, Latanya. Yep. Every six months. Thank you, Champelle. Amen, Jazzy. Dry fasting words, not honey. I know dry fasting words, but I'm not looking to do dry fasting to lose weight. If I ever do dry fasting, which I believe I will one day, it's not ever going to be because of weight loss. It's going to be because I need to strengthen my spiritual relationship with God because I believe dry fasting is dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing. So I ain't out, I ain't finna be out here just dry fasting. It's a whole no. It's a whole no. What short? Wow. Thank you so much, Ronnie. Wow. That's some uh deep words, deep spiritual words right there. And thank you so much. Wow. Thank you, Lisa. I don't know, y'all. I'm thinking of letting it grow in. And um, going to find me like a salon and do a finger wave. <laughs> I'm thinking of letting it grow. Go ahead and grow in on the sides. And go on and get me a finger wave, y'all. Get let them, Go on and let them permit. Go on and permit out. And um, do me a finger wave. What y'all think? What y'all think? Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, we got to believe, that's for sure. Oh, wow, Cece, what kind of workout did you do? Yes, Mike. And um, my mom has already said that she wants to do a podcast. And so that's definitely going to be one of um, my goals this winter to make that happen. And that's for sure. That's for sure. She, If, if she was here, she would completely agree with you 100% because that's something that she's wanted to do. Most definitely. 
most definitely. Y'all hear Clifton over there snoring? Y'all, I've always had like a really skinny neck and a big face. What is up with that? Like, who has these? <laughs> Don't pay me no attention. <laughs> <laughs> Who has a big body and a skinny neck? <laughs> Only me. <laughs> you got a big body and a skinny neck. <laughs> oh, you would think I'm hella skinny if you just seen me from here on up. <laughs> just the neck on up. Girl, you got a big body and a skinny neck. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That's <laughs> just one of the things I think about myself. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, help us, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, lady. <laughs> I don't know where I get it from because my mama don't got no skinny neck. <laughs> my mama neck ain't skinny. So I don't know where I got the skinny neck from. Long and skinny. <laughs> and when I say skinny, I just mean skinny for my body. <laughs> skinny for my body. My body type. It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right, Janet. What little boy did we put a picture up of? I don't know what little boy you talking about, baby. Please don't go into surgery. I mean, if you, I mean, if that's what you want to do, but no, you better love whatever booty cheeks God gave you. And like you said, keep working on it. Love them booty cheeks. Hug them, honey. Wash them up. Put some oil on them. Wax them. Make sure all the hair off of them. Make sure they ain't got no blemishes. Do a couple drop squats in the mirror and love your booty cheeks. Love what God gave you. Just like you said, keep working on it. <laughs> Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> Nobody can stop what God has for you because what God has for you is definitely for you. Thank you, Prima Donna. You gonna behave tonight? <laughs> you gonna behave tonight, Prima Donna? We ain't gonna have to put you out, right? You gonna behave? <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> you gonna behave? <laughs> Amen. Dog manny. I don't know about dog manic. Nah. I don't even know what that means. Dog manic. I don't know about that. I don't know about being dog manic. Nah. I don't know what that means. Y'all, I ain't, I ain't doing nothing, y'all. I'm probably finna let y'all go. Y'all hear Clifton over there. Y'all hear Clifton over there. I ain't doing nothing, y'all. I guess it's normal. <laughs> I guess it's normal. This man is over here asleep, y'all. But I can't be mad at him. He worked. He worked all week. 
He deserved to sleep. I ain't even gonna be mad at him. I'm just a little jealous. Cause I wanna go somewhere. I don't wanna be, a, even now y'all, it's uh 1045 and I'm still not sleepy. I'm still not sleepy. I'm probably gonna be up for a very long time tonight. I'm not sleepy. Not on, on, on YouTube, but I'm probably gonna get off here in a minute. But um, I'm gonna just be up because I'm not sleepy. Yes, Clifton is over here knocked out, y'all. He's literally over here asleep. But he's supposed to be, you know? So I can't get mad at that. <sighs> here goes so young. But, um... Yeah, no, I can't get mad at him being sleepy. Thank you, buddy. No, this is drink. This is ginger, some ginger tea with some nighttime stuff in it that Clifton made me. Oh, I don't know what my favorite hymns are. No idea. Look, Clifton snoring, y'all. He got me over here yawning now. I guess he said in his sleep, yeah, I'm going to make you eat those words. <laughs> he said he's going to make me eat them words, y'all. Some song my husband taught me years ago. Yes, my husband is sleeping. <laughs> hey, Tiffany, how you doing, baby? How you doing? Yeah. Oh, because I barely had picked this watch up today. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. I don't know what message that was, baby. But we don't do that over here. But we don't do that over here. Hey, King. Moses. All right. Be cool, baby. Cool, baby. All right, y'all. I guess I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all go to bed. Oh, 
I hubby sleeping, so I'm going to let this man sleep in peace. What am I cooking next? I'm doing good. Oh, I'm doing good, Tiffany. God is good. What am I cooking next? I don't even know, but I think I might be cooking some kind of Alfredo. To be completely honest. Uh, now this ain't a Christian song, but I really like what you've done to me. I can't really explain it. I am so into you. I really like what you done to me. I can't really explain it. I saw it to you. And I wish I knew the whole song. I think you're truly something special. Just what my dreams are really made of. Let's stay together, you and me, boy. There's no one like you around, oh, baby. I really like what you've done to me. I can't really explain it. I'm so into you. I really like what you've done to me i can't really explain it i'm into you <laughs> i'm sorry tiffany where you been girl you been asleep i'm into you <laughs> I love that song, y'all. I used to sing in the choir, but um, I don't, we don't have a choir. We have a praise team at our church. And um, no, I don't sing in it. I don't sing in it because I can't commit. You know, I have um, kids and I never know if I can make practice and all of that. So, no, I just stay in this choir stand. I mean, I stay in the... In the... Uh, the regular... Um, what, what do you call it? the regular pew? Oh, here's another one. <clears throat> Can we talk for a minute? Boy, I want to know your name. Can we talk for a minute? Boy, I want to know your name. Last night I, I saw you standing and I started, started pretending I knew you. You knew me too. <laughs> and just like a... Woo, what's the word? Ooh, I don't remember the words, y'all. <laughs> Something you were too shy. But you weren't the only cause so was I. And I... Dreamed of it ever since. <laughs> I'm getting all the all the lyrics messed up. Now I build up my confidence. Uh, honey, I don't even know. The next 
Next time you come my way, I know just what to say. Can we talk for a minute? Boy, I want to know your name. Can we talk for a minute? Boy, I Um, yeah, I dyed my hair. I dyed it. <laughs> Y'all don't pay me no attention. <laughs> I need to be somewhere in... I'm not finna... No, I don't. I need to stop saying that. No, I don't need to be nowhere in the bed. I don't want to sleep. <laughs> I don't want to sleep. Sit up right where I'm at. No, I didn't have my kids in church regularly. Like they they've been in and out of church since they was born. It has they ain't been in there like regularly. Uh uh. No. It's been in and out. My son was in and out. He really ain't really been in church as much as my daughter has. Um, because when I had my daughter, I was in church more, but before I had my daughter, I didn't really go to church, um, when he was born, when I had first had him, I went a few times, but, but they go now. Yeah. They go now regularly, but they didn't used to. Very true. Very true. I like going like to the actual building though. I like raising my kids, you know, um, in church because they just learn a lot. You just learn a lot. Yeah, we go to church regularly. We do. And I enjoy it. I like church. Well, I do like church, but I just wish that people would do do the right thing um, by us in church. You know what I mean? Ooh, I feel another one. I feel another little bit going on. To be much clever, <laughs> I want it to get down and sweet talk you. Hey, baby. <laughs> that came to me. I don't know. Yeah. We are supposed to fellowship, but when Jesus was, you know, out here, did he go to church every Sunday? I don't think he did. I don't think Jesus went to church every Sunday. I kind of feel like we created that to get money out of people, you know, so they could supply for the church because Jesus wasn't in church every Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Like he was out, he was out in the, um, in the streets. <laughs> he was in the streets, you know, ministering the word and everything. And so I just feel like, um, we put too many, too much emphasis on church and um i feel like sometimes it keeps us bound and um and it keeps us from not doing sometimes it hinders us from doing what god really called us to do because we hide behind we can hide behind the um four walls of the church and i feel like we don't do as much as we really should be doing because of it so i feel like church is a hindrance in a lot of cases Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when Jesus came, when Jesus came, he did away with the Sabbath. You know, he did away with that law. It was the Sabbath, but that was Old Testament. When Jesus came, he did away with that. Like Jesus preached on the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? And so he wasn't religious. Jesus was not religious at all. 
you know. He was all about helping the poor and healing people, you know. He was all about healing people. Healing people from their pain and their hurt and everything. I don't believe in that either. I don't believe in 10% of your checks should go to your church because that tithing whole system in the book of Malachi that was based off of Old Testament um, the um, what was it called Levitical priesthood um, that was the Levitical priesthood um, tithing system that was only supposed to be for the Levites um, the 12 tribes of Israel were the ones that were supposed to be tithing 10% um, and to be able to um, have the right to take 10% from your church members, you have to be a priest, okay, an ordained priest from the 12 tribes of Israel related to the bloodline of the Levites. And if you are not, you should be not requiring your church members to take 10, to um, give you 10% of their money. 10% um, should definitely go to God, taking care of God's people. Because the Bible says, Jesus says, said, whatever you do to the least of them, you've done to me. And um, so I believe my 10%, the first fruits of my earnings should go to God's people. It shouldn't go to the church um, paying tithes. Because to be completely honest, a lot of churches, they don't do what they like. Like, I feel like anybody, if you go to church, you should have the right and you pay your tithes, you give them money. You should have the right to go to that pastor and say, what are you doing with this money? Can I see proof of what you're doing with this money? Because a lot of churches we go to nowadays, or even back then, they you, you give them their money, but the microphones are still broken. Um, the pool pits are still empty. Um, the church still needs, needs maintenance and work. You know, they're not really taking care. You got poor people in the church and you're requiring them to give tithes. For what? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that we shouldn't give to the church. Oh, most definitely we should. I'm not saying we shouldn't give our offerings and stuff like that. I'm saying we could do more if we remembered God's law, and that was to take care of the needy and the poor, not give your money to pay to the to the to the pastor when he's really taking it to take care of himself and his family. That's all I'm saying. So I don't believe in giving paying your tithes. I don't believe in that. No. I used to believe in paying your tithes, but I don't believe in that. When I when I got the knowledge, I don't believe in that now. That's right. That's exactly right, Rita. God don't change, people do. <laughs> <laughs> right and they never teach about that I've never seen one church that I've ever attended preach about the Levitical um, priesthood um, tithing system never heard any church preach about it never they always just throw that scripture in there you are cursed with a cursed cursed with a cursed you don't have a right you don't have the right <laughs> to tell anyone they're cursed with a curse if they don't give tithes yeah a lot of churches don't i'm just saying a lot of churches don't help people they just like to pretend like they do. Or they'll give on certain occasions. But I don't remember in the, I don't remember any anywhere in the Bible where God picked a date to give. Like, oh, like, oh, I'm gonna do it like let's schedule a day to give. We're gonna give September twenty fifth. On on yeah, we're gonna give on September twenty sixth. I don't remember God scheduling a date to give to the poor. I don't remember him doing that. I don't remember that. I just don't remember it.
All right. But my the first fruits of my earnings will never go to, to tithing. It will always go to the poor. My fir the first fruits of my earnings will always go to feeding poor people, helping poor people, people who don't have money, people who I see holding signs up on the street, anything like that. My money going to always go to them. The first fruits of my earnings goes to them, God's people, not the church. But when I go to church, I do give my offerings and everything like that. But my money goes to poor people. It doesn't go to the church. Um, Kia, I did a, uh, I did a, a review. So if you look at my videos where one of my videos I posted today, it says I dyed my hair, check that video and I show you what I used. Yeah, but God didn't instruct us to give tithing to, to pay our tithes to the pastor that God didn't instruct us to to do that that was that was only referring to the one of the 12 the 12 tribes of Israel it wasn't for us that was not associated with us God never told us to give 10% of our tithes so I don't do it because God never instructed me to do that he instructed me to take care of his people he instructed me to take care of his poor people to give to them he didn't instruct me to take care of the pastor to put money in his household so he can drive around in a Mercedes Benz. Thank you, Mr. Chevrolet. Hey, Kayla. No, they don't. That's why it's up to us to get the knowledge because... The Bible says that my my children, God says we perish for the lack of knowledge. My people is us, it's the children of God. We are the ones that are perishing because the knowledge is available to us and we don't get the knowledge at all. We don't get the wisdom. You know what I'm saying? And so we perish. We live a lot, we live a hard life. We live a life where we have to fight through a lot of different things, unnecessary things, because we don't get the knowledge and God wants us to get the wisdom. He wants us to get his understanding so that we can live a blessed and prosperous life. And we don't live a blessed, a blessed and prosperous life because we don't have the wisdom or the knowledge or the understanding. And God is tired of that. He wants us to inquire. He wants us to ask questions. He wants us to get that wisdom so we can be really be successful in life. I ain't got no questions for God. I really don't. I just thank him for loving me for who I am and for never forsaking me and for having mercy on my life and everything. And, and His, I just thank him for his grace and mercy. I don't really have any questions for him. I'm just thankful. And I pray to God that I get to meet him one day. Yeah, most definitely. Give what you can. There's not a price tag unless God tells you specifically to give this much. But if God doesn't instruct you how much to give, you give from a good heart. You just give because you would want somebody to give to you if you was in the same predicament. That's just that. A lot of people use that's very true right you give into this channel too Mar Marjorie you're giving your time you're giving your attention you're giving your watch time you're definitely giving to this channel right now you definitely are and thank you how did I do That's definitely a question we're going to ask them. You know, for sure. Yeah, giving 10%, paying 10% of your tithing 
is definitely in the Bible, but you're not reading, you're not understanding the context. When that was mentioned in the Bible, they were referring to, the Bible was referring to the Levites, the one of the 12 um, tribes of Israel. It wasn't referring to us. So you got to understand context. You just can't pick a scripture out and just read it and say, oh yeah, that applies to me. You got to read the context. Who was it written to? Why was it written? That's why I say like we perish because we don't know this. Did you read the context? Are you just looking at the scripture they throw on the screen at church? You're cursed with a cursed. You just read that one scripture? You didn't read before that? You just read Malachi chapter 3? You didn't read Malachi chapter 1? You didn't read the book of Leviticus? You didn't read none of them other books? You didn't? You don't understand the context? You don't know who, 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 who were they referring to? Were they referring to the Gentiles, us? Or were they referring to the 12 tribes of Israel? You got to read the context. You can't just think that because it said that it was referring to you. <laughs> Bye. For sure. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Most definitely. I look at it like this, and I'm going to be real with you. When Jesus came... He did away with the old law. A lot of the things in the old law, Jesus did away with that stuff. And he told us in his word, I think it's in Matthew, the book of Matthew, what we needed to do to inherit the kingdom of life. It wasn't the whole Ten Commandments. It, it was six of them. It was six of them. So if you go back and read what Jesus is saying, he did away with a lot of the things tradition. And he said, these are what you need to do. These are the laws, our commandments I want you to keep to inherit eternal life. Anything outside of that, just seek God for yourself. Thank you, uh, Tasha. Right. We can't just pick and choose what verse we're going to read. Oh, yeah, it said this. Okay, well, who was it talking to? We got to know context. We got to read and di rightly divide the word of God for ourselves. Yep, we are saved by grace. That is definitely true. I know I'm saved by grace, honey, because I know I'm a mess. I know I ain't did nothing special. That's for sure. For sure. We definitely have to pray for clarity. We definitely clarity, understanding, every, all of that. And that's for sure. search the heavens high I can search the earth below and find that there is none I can search the heavens high I can search the earth below and find that there is none, there is none 
like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. All right, babe. I can search for all eternity, Lord, and find that there is none. There is none like you, you, Jesus. Nope. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search, I can search for all eternity, Lord, and find that there is none. There is none. Oh, there is none like you. And find that there is none. There is none. And find that there is none like you. I can search the heavens high. I can search the earth below and find that there is none like you. I'm here. No, both of my children are not by Clifton. My my son has a different father. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. No, I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying we shouldn't bless the church, but I just don't believe in giving my first fruits to the church. That's all I'm saying. Um the Bible says if we don't work, we don't eat. Right? So if we don't work, we don't eat. That applies to the pastor. Um and I don't remember where in the Bible, Jesus, him ministering the word of God to the congregation. I don't remember him getting paid to do that. That's all I'm saying. Praise God. <laughs> <clears throat> I surrender all to you, Jesus. I surrender all, all and all to. Thee, my I bless. 
and all to thee my I bless my blessed Savior I, I surrender all yes God I surrender all. I surrender all. I surrender all. Why y'all started me? <laughs> Why y'all started me? <laughs> y'all didn't started me. And now <laughs> the Lord has taken over. <laughs> nah, Jigga. Clifton was sitting over here on this couch. And he got up to go to bed. My husband don't ever bother me when it comes to singing. He let me sing. That man is sleeping. He ain't worried about me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love y'all. <laughs> oh, I love y'all so much. I don't even know who said that, but somebody said, I like it when she sing I Surrender All. <laughs> and then I just went in. <laughs> I love y'all. Some of y'all is really hanging with me tonight. Some of y'all really hanging with me tonight. Y'all, I'll be right back. I got to use the bathroom. I've been drinking all this water and tea. I'll be right back. Let me go use the bathroom. Y'all hold down the fort. <laughs> Somebody said it's 2 30. What time is it? It is 11 27 over here. I'll be right back. You are the one who lifts me up, and you are the one who fills my cup. You are my God, and I will trust in you. You are the one who lifts me up, and you my cup you are my God and I will trust in you you are the one who lifts me up and you are the one who fills my cup you are my God and I will trust in you. <laughs> you said, what is it? Please, please get Elijah into football. That boy is big. He can get scholarships to college. Please get him into football. He might play again. He did play last year. He might play again. <laughs> he might play again when he get in ninth grade, y'all. He's only in seventh grade. Give him some time. Saying Yolanda Adams. Give me a minute. That's that. I don't know. I 
always favorite Fantasia when I put my makeup on. <laughs> if only my weight could favor hers. No, I'm just joking. I don't want nobody else's weight. I just want to be my hip, my type of healthy. God is good, you guys. Y'all, I can't believe I'm not sleepy. I cannot believe it. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy that I'm not sleepy. Well, to God be the glory. <clears throat> to God be the glory. To God be the glory. To For all the things he's done to God be the glory to God be the glory to God to God be the glory for all the For all the things he's done, for all the things he's done to God, be the glory to God, be the glory to For all the things he's done, for all the things he's done. Listen, listen, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> to God be the glory. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me, God. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us. <laughs> yes, Dinesha. <laughs> Listen, to God be the glory. I don't know. To God be the glory. I don't know where I would be without him. I love to worship y'all. I don't know. I love to worship the Lord. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I love worshiping God, you guys. I really do. I ain't never going to change. This is all I know how to do is worship. Some people know how to, I don't know, <laughs> do whatever they do. But all I know how to do is worship. I love to worship God. I just do. I ain't perfect and I ain't trying to be. But I love to worship, worship God. I don't know if I know that one, Heart of Worship. <clears throat> by Tasha God. I probably had to hear it. I probably would have to hear the song. Wow. Good night, Brother Mike. Love you. You have a blessed evening and thank you so much for all of your prayers and your positive energy. I greatly and thankfully appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's the best time to sing when you're happy and when you sad. You hear me? 
That's the best time to sing. Y'all, I don't know how long I'm be up. I ain't sleepy yet, y'all. Mm-hmm. 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 God, it's just so good. I don't know. I'm getting emotional right now, Donisha. And it and so what if you are getting emotional, Donisha, that is okay. That just means you love the Lord. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yes, he does. God has a plan for every single one of his children. We just got to learn how to let God's plans for our life to unfold in our life. A lot of times we try to fight God. And we try to resist where he's taking us to. But do I have any people in the building tonight that will just throw your hands up and say, fix me, oh Lord, fix me and take me where you going to take me, God. I resist no more. Take me where you going to take me. Praise God, Crystal. God is good. God is faithful. And um, if there's anything that I know about our Heavenly Father is that he is a healer. He's a healer. Do you believe that? Woo! Do you believe that Jesus is a healer? Do you believe that? I need the oh Lord. I I need thee every hour. I I I need thee. Oh.
to thee. I come to thee. You better come to the Lord. 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 Yes, you better come to the Lord. What do you mean? What do you mean? You better come to the Lord. You better come to the Lord. You better come to the Lord. He's the only way, the only one that understands what you're going through. He's the only one that can fix the issue. The world can't fix it. The world ain't give it. The world can't take it away. What the world didn't give you, the world can't take away. Come on now. You better come to the Lord. You better come to the Lord. You better come to the Lord. Mm, Veronica, you better come to the Lord. You better come to the Lord today. You better come to the Lord, Crystal. Come to the Lord today. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. For He is our God. And we are the people of His pasture. Just a sheep of his hands. Just a sheep of his hands. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our For he, he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, just a sheep of his hand. Just a sheep of his hand. Come, let us worship and bow down. Come, let us worship and bow down. Come, let us worship and bow down. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Yeah, 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 God. Come, let us worship and bow down. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what your problem is tonight, what you lack. What you need God to make up for. But if you come and lay down your your burdens. You come and lay down everything that you're going through. 
He will surely guide you through the night. Mm. He's just such a good God. Such a good God. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah, um, Teresa Sterling. Praise God. We thank you, Lord. Lord, we minister to you tonight with our voice. My voice is getting late, so it might feel some type of way a little cracky. But listen, I don't care what's going on. I will bless the Lord at all times. In all times, his praise shall continuously be in my mouth. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah, Crystal. Keep praising him. Keep blessing him. Keep giving him all the praise, glory, and honor. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Just sing praises to him. Just tell him all the glory belongs to him. Yes. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the glory belongs to you oh god you oh god yeah 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 all the glory belongs to you oh god you oh god yeah 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 all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god as praises, what happened? When praises go up, what does the Bible say? When praises go up, the blessings come down. When praises go up, I said the blessings, they come right on down. Praise them. Give them glory. Hallelujah. 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 Praise him. Give him glory, Jigga. Give him glory. Hallelujah. You are so welcome. God bless you, Mary. Hallelujah. Minister Janet, minister, hallelujah. Hey, Tia, thank you so much for being here. God bless you, my love. We are nothing without him. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. Here I am, here I stand, Lord, my life is in your hands, Lord, on longing to see. 
your desires reveal in me. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Yeah, yeah. I give myself away so you can use me. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. My life is not my own. To you I belong. Lord, I give myself, I give myself. I give myself, I give myself to you. I give myself away. Yeah. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away, yeah, yeah. I give, I give, yeah. I give myself away so you can use me. Take my heart, take my life. As a living sacrifice, all my dreams, all my plans, Lord, I place them in your hands. I give. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Yeah. I give myself away so you can use me. My life is not my own, to you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. My life is not my own, to you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. Lord, I give myself, I give myself to you. I give myself, I give myself to you. I give myself away, yeah, I give myself away so you can use me. I 
I give myself away. Yeah, yeah. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away so you can use me. Take my heart. Take my mind as a living For it's in Him I live, it's in Him I move, it's in Him I have my being. I might as well not move at all unless I move in Him, for it's in Him we live, it's in Him we move, it's in Him we have our being. We might as well not move at all. For it's in Him I live, it's in Him I move, it's in Him I have my being. I might as well not move at all unless. I move in Him. I might as well not move at all unless I move in Him. Y'all still with me? <laughs> Y'all still with me? <laughs> Somebody tell me they still with me right now. Because I know I've been going in. Honey, I feel the presence of the Lord tonight. I feel the presence of the Lord. I feel the presence of the Lord. Whew. Just to bask in his glory. Just to bask in his glory. Just to bask in his glory.
The Spirit of the Lord is here, you guys. If you've been here for more than five minutes, just let yourself feel His glory. Don't know who you are and what you're going through but God is working it out <laughs> he's working it out everything that you're going through he's working it out right now all your burdens he will bear he loves you and he's working it out. He's working it out. And if you are undecided about something in your life and you're asking God to confirm himself to you, right now is your moment. Whatever you've been worried about, whatever you've been stressed about, Whatever you've been undecided about, right now is your moment. And God is confirming himself to you in this moment. So just receive his glory.
<clears throat> Show me your face, Lord. Show me your face. Then gird up my legs. That I might stand in this holy place. Show me your face, Lord. Your power and grace. I will make it to the end If I could just see your face Show me your face, Lord Show me your face Then gird up my legs that I might stand in this holy place. Show me your face, Lord, your power and grace. I will make it to the end If I could just see your face I don't know about you, but I feel the Holy Spirit from within. I don't know that song too much, but I'm going to sing it again, whatever lyrics I know. Show me your face, Lord. Show me your face. Show me your face, Lord. Your power and grace. And I will make it to the end if I could just see your face show me your face Lord your power and I can make it to the end If I could just see your face I can make it to the end If I can just see your face I can make it to the end, Lord, 
If I can just see your face, show me your face, Lord. Show me your face. Then go. That I might stand in this holy place. Show me your face, Lord. Your power and grace. I can make it to the end If I could just see your face We can make it to the end If we can just see your face We can make it to the end If we can just see your face I can make it to the end Yeah If I can just see Father, let us see your face tonight, Lord. We want to see you. We want to see your face, God. We want to see you. We want to see you, Jesus. Father, move in our lives. Let your presence fill this place, Jesus. You are our desire. This is my desire to honor you, Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. With all I have within me, I give you praise. All that I adore is in you. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul, Lord, I give you my heart, 
I give you my soul. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Lord, I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, have your way in me. Yes, God, have your way in me. Yes, God, have your way in me. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Lord. Can't make it without you. Can't move without you. Can't breathe without you. Can't sing without you. Can't walk without you. Can't talk without you. Can't be without you. Can't think without you. Can't sleep without you. Can't live without you. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, again. We need you, Lord, again. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, again. So fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Again, 
again. We need you again, again, God. Again, God. Again, God. Fill us again. Again, God, again, God, again, God, fill us again, again, God, again, God, again, God. Fill us again. Fill our soul, God. Fill our soul, God. Fill our soul, God. Again. Fill our hearts, God. Fill our minds, God. Fill our soul, God. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again, God. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, we need you. We need we need you again, God. We need you, we need you. We need you again, God. Feel our soul, God. Feel our soul, God. Feel our soul, God. And do it again. Do it again, do it again, do it again, 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 again. We need you again, we need you again, we need you again, we need you again. We're not ashamed of you, God, we need you again. We need you again, we need you again, we need you again, God. Again, 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 feel us again, feel us again, feel us again. Feel us again. Don't stop feeling us again. Don't stop feeling us again. Don't stop, God. Don't stop, God. Feel us again. We need you again. We want you again. We want you again. We want you again. Can't make it without you. We want you again, God. Feel our hearts, God. Feel our souls, God. Feel our hearts, God. And do it again. And do it again. Again and again. Again and again. Again and again, again and again, again and again, again and again, we want you again, God, we want you again, yeah. We need you again, yeah, yeah. We searched all over, couldn't find nobody. We looked high and low, still couldn't find 
nobody, nobody greater, nobody stronger, nobody wiser, nobody greater than you. No. Search all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody greater, nobody. Nobody stronger, nobody stronger, nobody excellent, <laughs> nobody excellent, nobody greater than you. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Yeah, nobody greater, nobody Nobody excellent, Ooh. nobody greater than you, yeah. I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody, yeah. Nobody greater, nobody greater, nobody greater than you. Nobody greater than you. Nobody greater than you who can compare to the Lord. Who can compare to the Lord? Nobody who can compare to the Lord. Who can compare to the Lord? Nobody who can compare to the Lord. Who can compare to the Lord? Nobody. Who can compare to the Lord? Who can compare to the Lord? Nobody. I command your body healed in the presence of the Lord. I command your bodies healed in the presence of the Lord. Who can heal you? Nobody. But the Lord, I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody, yeah, nobody greater, nobody Nobody stronger, <laughs> nobody excellent, Ooh. nobody greater than you. So, I don't know who's still here right now, and I don't know 
what you're going through in your body. But there's a healing anointing in the room right now. And if you believe, if you believe that you have, that you will receive healing, if you believe healing is yours, it's yours right now. So I encourage you, if you are going through something in your mind, you're going through something in your heart, if you're going through something in your spirit, in your soul, and you need cleansing, you need purification that only the Father can give, that only the Father can bring. It's available to you. It's available to you today. So what God needs from you, if you need something from him, is he needs you to say this. <clears throat> Lord, I'm available to you. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say do. Use me, Lord, to show someone the way. And enable me to say, my storage is empty, and I am available to you. I don't know where you are, but come on, let's get low before the Lord. Let's get on this floor and say... Lord, I'm available to you. If you if you got a floor, get on it. My will I give to you. I'll do what you say do. Use me, Lord. To show someone the way and enable me to this day tell God your storage is empty my storage is empty and I am available my storage is empty and I am available. Ask him to use your heart. My storage is empty. And I am available. My storage is empty. And I am available to you. Father, surround your people with your glory this night, God. And let your presence fill this place, God. Fill them up, God. Fill up your people, Lord. Leave no one un leave no one untouched. Fill up your people, God. Fill them with your glory, God. Fill them with your power. Fill them with your anointing. Fill them with your spirit. Leave not one untouched, God. Fill up your people tonight, Lord. We need you, Jesus. We need your glory. We need to experience your glory, God. We need you, Lord. For we cannot make it without you. We will never make it without you. We need you, Jesus. Fill us up, God. You know the empty places in our hearts, God. You know what we're longing for. Fill those empty voids tonight, God. Fill our empty voids tonight, God. 
fill every crevice and every crack of our spirit, God, of our hearts, Lord. You know our hearts better than we do, God. You know what we need. Fill us, Lord. Fill us, God. We make ourselves available to you. We make ourselves available to you, God. Fill us with your presence. Fill us with your spirit, God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your presence tonight. Father, we thank you that our worship did not fall on deaf ears. We thank you that you invited us into your presence to behold your glory, God. Father, I pray every person that is to watch this video, Lord, that they would experience your glory in a mighty way, Lord. Father, that no flesh would glory in your sight, Lord, but that they would get what they came for, God. That they would get, receive what they came for, Lord, through you, God. Father, I thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done for us, Lord. Father, I thank you for forgiving us, Lord, and we repent. We repent, God, and we place you back on the throne where you belong in our hearts, God. Father, we renounce and denounce, Father, any foreign idols, any idols, God, any idols that we put before you, Lord. We tear them down right now in the name of Jesus, Father, and we put you back in the place where you belong, Lord. Father, I pray that all week long, when times get tough, where we feel like we're not going to be able to make it, when we feel lonely inside, God, or we experience any kind of grief or sorrow or fear or defeat, God, whatever it may be, God, any spirit, anything that we may feel or go through throughout the week, God, that is contrary to your word and the joy and the peace and the love that you, Father, vowed that was ours, God. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would fill us again with worship, God, that worship would be on our lips, God, that we would stop what we're doing and worship you, Lord, that we may remember that you're near, God, that we wouldn't treat you, Lord, like a foreign object, oh God, but that we would remember how much you love us, that we would remember how much you care for us, that we would remember that your grace and your mercy is sufficient for what we are experiencing in our lives, God. Father, that we would remember that you care about everything that we go through, from the silliest thing to the serious thing. Lord, that you care about it all. Father, I thank you, Lord, and I ask that you would wrap your arms around us this evening, Lord, this morning, this early morning, God, that you would wrap your arms around us, God, and that we wouldn't be able, that we wouldn't be tormented by any demonic spirits, Lord, by any kind of demonic witchcraft or anything, God, that the enemy has tried to concoct up, God, against us, but that we would just rest, God, that we would be able to rest in your glory, Rest in your power, rest in your strength, rest in your peace, rest in your knowledge and your understanding, God. And that this week, Lord, that we would be able, Lord, to have enough that it would overflow, overflow in us, God. Father, I ask that you would overflow in us, Lord, that we would be able to share the love and the joy and the peace with someone else, God. Father, I give you praise, glory, and honor for everything that you're doing, Lord, in us. And I thank you, Father, that your, that your um, blessings um, and your answers unto us, God, are yes and amen. I give you praise, glory, and honor. El Shaddai, Elohim, Adonai, Jireh, Yeshua. Father, I praise you. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus. Forgive us, Lord of our sins but we repent right now we turn from our wicked ways god father we thank you we thank you jesus for your grace and your mercy and we thank you for knowing us better than we know ourselves god and we thank you for the plan that you've outlined for our lives god we thank you lord we thank you jesus thank you amen i am gonna let you guys go right now it is very late probably three to four o'clock in the morning for some of you 
Honey, I am loving this makeup. Donisha is back in the building, okay? I am definitely going to be wearing makeup more often because I just miss it. I'm loving it. I don't even want to take the makeup off right now. Even though I know I got I to gotta go take it off. I don't even want to take I just want to leave it right on. But I'm not. I'm going to take it off. I love you guys so much. And I just pray that God would be with you tonight. And that you would find peace and joy in his arms. As you sleep. And as you start your week. So I love you guys so much. And I pray that you guys would have a blessed night. I think I'm going to go to bed listening to this video. Just the songs that were saying the worship was just amazing. And um, I'm definitely going to go to bed listening to the worship. Um, it is almost one o'clock in the morning here, which is fine. I normally go to bed between, I would say between, between 10 and 12, 12 a.m. I go to bed every night. So it's a little on the late side but not really. Um, so I love you guys so very much. And I pray that y'all would have a blessed, blessed week. Yes. Overflow. Overflow. All right, y'all. Y'all have a blessed one. I love y'all so much. Night, y'all.